Sometimes we want to dynamically generate CIDR blocks in our Terraform code. For example, I want to create multiple subnets in a loop and there I want to dynamically get CIDR blocks for every subnet. Here I have a small piece of code. I have three Terraform scripts provider.tf which is pointing to a region variables which has VPC CIDR block and the VPC itself there I am using CIDR block for VPC instance tenancy and tags. In this case let's say I want to create three subnets I am hard coding the value instead of hard coding count I can get this information dynamically using data sources uh, let's say we are provisioning resources in Mumbai where we have three AZs I want to have three subnets I can get that information using data sources for availability zones that's completely a different topic now the point is I am creating three subnets for three subnets VPC will be same right but side of block going to be different now the question is how to get these values dynamically and create three subnets here so one option would be uh, declaring a variable of type list which contains three different side of blocks and as i said if i change my region and if i point this to let's say us west there there might be five availability zones in that case i want to have five different side of blocks right so the point is let's say I, i'll make it five or i'll make it seven dynamic at runtime so whatever value i pass here accordingly so i need to get side of blocks dynamically now i want to introduce a built-in function from terraform let's take a look into cider subnet function this function takes prefix new bits and net number let's take a look into the example that's a function the prefix right the first argument is prefix and this has net mask 12 the second argument here is new bits nothing but 12 plus 4 which is 16 that's the reason it's giving you 16 and it, the number is 2 okay so <clears throat> i will show you how this function works using terraform console i opened the terminal my present working directory is the location where our terraform scripts are located here i want to open terraform console terraform console helps us to execute functions and check its outputs so we can ignore these warnings there okay now let's copy this value let me hit enter so what's happening here actual net mask is 12 plus 4 the new net mask becomes 16 right so if i change this let me do it zero now let me try it for one let me try this for two and so on if you see this one so i need to increment these values for getting a new side block there so which is giving me 16 17 18 and so on so let me take some other example instead of taking that as 12 i will make it as 16 and let me make this one as 8 and this one as 0 in sense right 16 plus 8 which is 24 0 see 0 this is 1 likewise if i change the value here i am getting a new cider block every time so i want to use cider subnet function to get 
cider blocks dynamically to my subnets in the code here let's use interpolation cider subnet it takes three arguments the first argument is the prefix i will use vpc cider block as a prefix okay so vpc cider block is 16 for my subnets i want net mask as 24 so my new bits is 8 so 16 plus 8 which is 24 so here i am going to create three subnets and i need to loop this with 0 1 2 and so on so this can be count dot index so count dot index it's going to loop this thrice so initially count dot index is 0 then 1 then 2 so that it's going to give me three different side blocks for three different subnet so even tags right let's say i want to have something like subnet 1 2 3 count dot index plus 0 let's run this code we can ignore warnings for now it's successfully applied let's go to aws management console and check the cider blocks it created for three different subnets we have java home vpc there is java home vpc and let's take subnet which is uh, 0 1 2 and observe the cider blocks it created dynamically for us so in case we are getting this count variable dynamically if i make it 5 i don't have to change this logic because this function takes care of generating five different cider blocks to me that is how we use cider subnet function to dynamically generate cider blocks in terraform code